Florida's growing pains as the third most populated state in the country are being felt in our hospitals as they prepare for shortage of doctors. 10 News Sarasota Newsroom reporter Isabel Mascarenas explains how FSU and a local hospital are trying to keep med school graduates in Florida. Hospitals like Sarasota Memorial have a big void to fill, a looming doctor shortage, especially in primary care. Medical staff is aging, just like the population is aging, so we have to have new talent to replace those physicians who are nearing retirement. Finding that talent is a challenge. A recent study shows by 2025, Florida will be short 7,000 doctors if more residency programs are not created. The dean for FSU's College of Medicine says two-thirds of its medical school graduates do their residency program out of state. We're now graduating more medical students in the state of Florida than we actually have first-year seats for them in residency programs. To head off this problem, Sarasota Memorial Hospital is partnering with FSU to launch a three-year-long residency program in internal medicine by the year 2017. This would help us take a look at the best of the best and we could recruit those residents that want to stay in the area. There's about an 80% chance if you do your medical school and residency program in Florida that you'll be a Florida physician. SMH's Chief of Medical Operations says providing its medical students a residency program is a win-win for patients too. Everybody at the hospital has to be a little bit sharper and you know you have to read up because the residents are always reading up and and this helps everybody stay current. In Sarasota, Isabel Mascarenas, 10 News. We have posted a link to the study on the doctor shortage facing Florida. To see that, head to our website, WTSP.com, click Seen on TV.